Hi guys, I've had quite a few people asking me how to do a hamster scalping optimization. So I'm going to show you how to do this on MT5. And the reason why we do this on MT5 is that um, the MT5 version can take advantage of all the CPUs you have on your computer. If you're using MT4, the big drawback is no matter how powerful and how many CPUs you may have, it can only use the one, which means it will take ages to do an optimization. Uh, hence the reason why we do on MT5. So this is the MT5 terminal. The other good thing about running optimizations is that you don't necessarily have to have the, uh, the trading robot already. Uh, you can simply download the demo and run the optimizations. And once you find a good optimization, then you can purchase it. Uh, so to do that, uh, I know some of you already will know how to do this, but for those who don't, what you do is you just click on market button here and from the market you can type in hamster scalping and this one is here you click on it you can uh, I've got the demo ready um, because I've already got it I can update it if you don't have it you can download it the demo and once you've installed it you go back to the product and have a look you can test it here and then what that will do, it will open up your strategy tester with it already in here. Now, this is what I do. First of all, you select this symbol that you want to test with. Now, to ensure that you do this properly, you do need to make sure you downloaded all the historical data already for a particular symbol. So, for example, if we're using a dollar yen here, you need to go to view and then symbols and then you choose so it's a major pair so here and you go to ticks and you make sure that you request them and that will download them all if you don't do this you'll find the low quality back test and low quality data optimization which means it will be completely different from uh, real life so that's downloaded it the other thing you can do is you can import so if you, if you look at my um, data I've actually imported data from Duca's copy so IC markets are my preferred broker and I want to test it using IC markets data um, so I can you know I've done the same thing what I've done is I've created a custom symbol uh, and then I've imported the IC markets data into this um, but as you can see, we're already in IC markets, so that's not a problem. But if you're at a different, using a different broker, uh, you can download different data sets. And that's a good way, actually, once you've got your optimization, is to test it against uh, different brokers to, just to make sure that, that it works. And now I can go and do this. So then you select your time frame. So it can be anything. I prefer the 15-minute time frame on the hamster, but I know the awful uses uh, the M5 time frame a lot, so let's do that for now. And just for the purposes of getting through this quite quickly, uh, I'm not going to do the whole year, so I'm just going to do maybe a month, uh, just so that you can see how I'm doing this. But obviously, uh, the longer time period that you do for the uh, optimization, the more data you're going to get, and possibly the better results you'll get. If you do for a really short time frame like this, It'll work for that time frame, I'm, I'm sure, you know, for a month, but you just don't know how long it's going to last. So obviously the, the drawback is if it's too tight, then it's going to be um, uh, too heavy optimized and uh, curve fitted, uh, which means it will work perfectly for the period of time. But uh, you don't know what it will do outside of these, um, outside of this time frame. Uh, so ideally you do want you know, a couple of years, I'd, I'd say, uh, maybe a year. Um, but obviously the shorter time frame that you have with regards to the optimization period, you've just got to be aware that um, it may expire quicker than you expect. And you can do some full testing so you can uh, get it to run a separate test from a particular start date as well for full testing. Um, and then you can select your, your delay. So this will be your broker speed. I tend to use VPS so it's a lot quicker. Modeling is how accurate I try and get it as accurate as possible so I would use every tick based on real ticks um, and then adjust the other settings so deposit how much 
is your simulated deposit, what's the leverage you're using on your broker, and if you click on the optimization, you've got also different options here, which uh, I always select the slow complete algorithm. And it's slow, but I want to get uh, accuracy over in everything else. And then it's here that you need to get to inputs. So inputs um, allow you to go through all the different permutations uh, for your optimization against the data that you're optimizing against. Uh, so if you look here, all the ones with the X's mean that you're not looking to optimize. So um, for example, you're only looking to opt you're, you're only looking to, to optimize the base strategies for the hamster. So hamster works on two um, fun the two functions of hamster. The original, which is what we call the base. Uh, this is just buying, selling um, anything from one to five to ten. Uh, trades um, and not using grid but there is a, a grid option so you can uh, optimize on a grid option as well if you want but I prefer the base I don't really like grid trading and then I left all these the same um, because I want to test it on initial lot of 0.5 and then I want to make sure the auto, auto lot is off auto sizing is off but what I do want to check is the timing so what it's going to do is from you see here start so one of the, the start times will be from um, zero, 00 hours, which will be midnight, and it's going to go up one all the way to 23. So the start hour is going to literally check through all the timings from zero, which is midnight, and go through one by one uh, up through the whole 24 cycle of the clock for the start hour, and it'll do the same thing for the end hour, start at midnight, go all the way through. So we're going to cover uh, all the different uh, hours within the clock for the start and end time you see there's 24 permutations of each and likewise i'm going to run through the period indicator i'm going to go through starting from you know m a period indicator um the variable five go up in two so the next one will be seven and then nine eleven thirteen etc all the way up to 15. and you can you can adjust these as as you wish uh, and this will be the up uh, level. So if this is probably RSI indicator. Um, so you know what levels do you want to, to to test against? So I've said 75, going up in twos all the way to 120, and then from the down level, for example 15, going up in twos all the way up to 40. I hope that makes sense. Um, and obviously, the more permutations they have, the longer time it's going to take. And if you look at um, what I've done here, uh, I pretty much set it up. Uh, a similar kind of way um, you know this is the other important thing as well so virtual take profits is 100 which actually means 10 pips and I've got to go up in five pips up to 30 and likewise virtual virtual stop loss 30 uh, go up in fives up to 50 pips and uh, let's scroll down a little bit more so this is the uh, this part is for grid, which I've, I've turned that off. So I've, that's that's why you see that all these are X. I'm not looking to optimize any of these because I'm looking at grid. Um, I'm only looking at strategy one, which is the base, uh, and hence why I'm uh, um, uh, um, looking to optimize these these functions here or these variables. Sorry. And let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. Yeah, and I'm not doing the rest here. And that's all you pretty much do. And then all you have to do is hit start. And this will now go through all of the permutations that you set in your optimization. What's the other few optimization? Okay, so you see it started already. And the other thing that's useful is if I just want to close this one here just to get more, more screen estate. Here's, this is what's happening here. So it's running through the optimizations. Let me make this, and it plots it on a graph. So the this should correspond to this. This is the one which I, I tend to look at, uh, and then you leave it because if you look here, even though I've only set it for limited time to optimize because of the permutations, it's still going to take five hours, and it's taken so far one minute, uh, ten to one minute. 13 seconds and we've got five hours or just under five hours to get through so if you're doing for example a, a you know an optimization for over a year two years 
uh, you can imagine it takes ages. Most of my optimizations are optimized for one to two years uh, with those options on Hamster, and it can take pretty much um, a whole day. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is if you right click and go to Task Manager, and you go to Performance, which is what we can hear, see 100% CPU. Your mice is using all my CPUs. I've got a, uh, an 8-core processor, uh, it actually has 16 threads, yeah, CPU, see, you can see it's using all of them here, um, if you're using MT4 it can only use one, so agency here we are, so I'm using 8-core, so, sorry, 8-core but it's actually seeing 8 because I've got uh, hyper-threading so it's actually got 16 cores, and you can see each one is busy working. Uh, and, and churning through this data. So it's still going to take that amount of time, you know, four and a half hours now, it's speeding through and it's going to show you all of this. Um, and once it's finished, we'll look through this again and I'll show you how to use this to select an optimization. And of course, once you've selected an optimization, you still need to test it uh, in a real account using small lot sizes. And once you've got good results, then you can scale in. And that's pretty much what I do. It is very time consuming, you need a powerful computer, um, but that's how you would run an optimization on Hamster. And actually, that's how you would run an optimization on, on any other trading robot, which gives you the options to optimize. Uh, not all trading robots do. Some just um, uh, close off the variables so you can't see exactly uh, how they're trading, which obviously makes it very difficult for you to see what's going on. But yeah, that, that, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll look at this uh, after this has, has completed uh, in five, four hours time. Okay. Right, the optimization is now complete, and what you'll see is a chart which looks like this. And all this is really telling you is, um, yeah, these are all the permutations. So along the bottom here, it's done over 9,000 optimizations. So what it's done is these th those variables that you set, you told it to to count up, and you told it to test against. It's gone through every single combination of those, and ran a back test for each and every single one, uh, which means every single one here is a different setting. And what you see along the vertical chart is the profit and loss against each of those settings. So this is the zero line. We started with a thousand here. So you can see just faintly the thousand um, dollar line, which is where we started. And a whole load of them um, are negative, so they didn't make any money. But uh, at the top here, you see maxes out at um, uh, just you can pull them out over here. That one thousand, just under one thousand three hundred, and there's quite a few of them. Uh, and what we do is you can go to the optimization results from here you right click and if you export the optimization cache file you get a .opt file if I remember correctly and this file you can import here so if I were to send this to you guys for example you can import it and then you'll have this chart and you'll have all these uh, uh, all the figures in the table and uh, in the table here it pretty much tells you uh, all this information in a chart form and what you do is you sort under whatever criteria you're looking for. So you may be looking uh, for the highest profit factor. You click on that and you just have a look to see what the highest profit factor is. And of course, in our testing here, uh, we have um, only done a month. So what was it? A month, wasn't it? So just for your, just to show you guys how this works, this optimization obviously will not work because it's only a month. You need, I'd say, at least a year or so uh, for really short term stuff. But then you need to be checking all the time. So let's go back into here. Uh, profit factors are ones obviously which are really high but show very little trades. So for example, you know, profit factor 21 with two trades, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you're not going to make any money from that. There, it's, it's just it's only made two trades and they randomly happen to uh, make money. Um, only one dollar sixty, but the profit factor is high. So you need to make sure you've got a good number here. Um, so around 200 for, for this is, is a decent number, even for, actually for a month, 70 probably is a high number. And uh, and then what you could do is say, if you think this is a good one, you can right click on it and then you can run a single test. And this will run a back test against those settings. And all you need to do is then go to the graph and you can watch it go up. That's what it looks like, and then what you can do is you just go to the uh, back test. Sorry, and these give you some of the stats. 
so history quality is 100 so always check the history quality make sure it's good enough if it's not good enough sometimes you get a bit low then obviously what i mentioned right at the beginning of the video you need to make sure you've downloaded the historical data and you can see that uh, it has done 70 trades and um 75 percent of them uh, were winners and if you want to export this, obviously you just right click and then report and you can save it as HTML file, which uh, you guys see uh, as the standard st um, strategy tester report. And if you then want to save it, you can go to inputs and inputs will show you the settings that uh, you selected and you can right click and then you can save version. And that will save the .set file, which you can then import uh, into your, uh, your own settings. And you can also go obviously go in here and change the settings. So I always encourage everyone when you're testing any set initially, always go for the lowest lot. So 0 0.01 initially, always turn off auto lots and test and make sure that the, the wins versus the losses is what you expect according to the back test. So if you're seeing a 75% uh, win to, to lose ratio, then you should be seeing the same uh, in, in your re real trading with the, the low lot size and if you're not then there's something wrong um, and that can happen so let's look at another one let's, let's actually go go to the maximum profits let's go to the top so there's quite a few of them and you can see you know, RSI 9 RSI up level 75 so it tells you all the settings here anyway um, but right click run a single test and let's go to the graph and we'll see what this looks like. That's what that looks like. And then you can go back to the back test and have a look again. So it's made uh, in a month, it's made a 30% return. Um, so short trades once, 75%, lost trades, so profitable trades, it's about 70% the profitable trades. And that's what you need to do. Um, something that I sometimes also do is if you're uh, doing an optimization, you know, say for example, if you know, today is the, uh, is the, the, the 21st of January 2022, and you can just run some back tests outside of this time window, so you know, perhaps after, and before to see how stable it, it, it is and uh, if it's not being if it's not stable i.e. You profitable outside of these uh, dates where it's optimized then it's probably um, probably over optimized and uh, not going to work in the real trading world um, so that's pretty much it guys I mean this is the um, this is how I look at optimization uh, for not just only the hamster but uh, for all other trading robots if there's anything I missed, please do let me know. If there's something that uh, is not clear, please let me know. Just drop in the comments. I hope you got some value from this. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks very much.